So there was once a great master named Janaka. Janaka was a king. He was a very, very rich, very, very powerful, and very, very enlightened king. There are many stories about Janaka. One fine day, there was a seeker named Shuka. And Shuka really prided himself on how sattvic he was and how pure he was. He only ate the purest food and did the purest practice. And he was, you know, a sannyasi with like a shaved head and just wore a loincloth and had a begging bowl. And one day, Shuka met another siddha named Ashtavakra. Ashtavakra was this uh, very disfigured uh, person. Ashtavakra means bent in eight places. And there's a whole other story about how Shuka came to meet Ashtavakra and how Ashtavakra came to give him this advice. But the advice that he gave him once he saw that Shuka although his practice was very strong and his self-righteousness was very strong, his actual attainment was quite unbaked. So he told Shuka, you need a guru, and the guru that you need is King Janaka. So go to such and such a place and, and find Janaka. Maybe he didn't even tell him that he was a king. He just said, go find Janaka. So... Shuka goes to Janaka's kingdom and starts asking for Janaka and everyone starts sending him to the big royal palace. Eventually, Shuka gets there and Shuka, you remember, he's a renunciate. He's given up all material things for the sake of God. He gets led into the court of King Janaka and there's Janaka sitting in his throne and he's being fanned and he has a courtesan massaging each of his hands and each of his feet. And another courtesan feeding him grapes by hand. This image of just utmost indulgence and luxury. And Shuka thinks, uh, I've been duped. This Ashtavakra is crazy. And he's getting ready to leave and Janaka says, Sanyasi, what have you come for? And he explains, Ashtavakra told me that you would be my guru. And Janaka said, okay, great. I'll be your guru. And he said, your majesty, you just can't be my guru. I'm a renunciate. And all of this lavish pleasure and material abundance, I, I just can't understand how you could possibly be my guru. And he said, well, I'll give you your first lesson tomorrow morning. Come tomorrow morning and shave your head fresh before you come. And I'll explain to you how I can be your guru. Shuka had come all of this way, so he figured, well, why not? It's a test. I always pass the test. So let's try it. So he comes the next morning. He shaved his head fresh. And he said... Janaka said, all you have to do is just walk through the market. They had a big, beautiful market nearby the palace. He said, all you have to do is just walk through the market. And Shuka said, okay. He said, but you have to carry a bowl of water on your head. And Shuka thought, okay. And you can't spill it, Janaka said. And Shuka thought, okay. And I'm going to send two royal guards with you. And if you spill one drop of water, their instruction is to cut off your head immediately. And so they took Shuka <laughs> to the market. And all of a sudden he realizes that, you know, he has bitten off more than he can chew. So they take him and they put the bowl of water on his head. And he walks through and, you know, he's probably done some yoga or something and knows how to balance. And so he manages to do it. He gets all the way through the marketplace. He doesn't spill any water. He doesn't get his head cut off. And they bring him back to Janaka. And 
he's like, okay, so what was I supposed to learn? And Jonica says, well, tell me about the market. He's like, what kind of flowers did you see in the market? And Shuka said, well, I, I didn't see any flowers. And he said, oh, well, what kind of dates were they selling? Were they selling any delicious dates in the market? And Jonica says, well, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't see anything in the market. All I saw was my head being cut off and a drop of water possibly, you know, spilling from the, the bowl on my head. And Jonica says, you look at me and you think that I'm here with all of this pleasure and all of this wealth. But just like you only saw that water on your head and the risk of your head being cut off, all I see, Shuka, is God. All of this means nothing to me. That one principle is the only thing that I see. I can teach you that. And so from that point, Janaka became the guru of the renunciate Shukamuni. <laughs>